Hi, I'm Tali from Resonate and I'm going to show you how to create cells in your artwork using the dirty pour method. You can get beautiful effects using pigments, mica powders, resin and resi blast. As the name suggests, things get very messy with a dirty pour, so make sure you have your work surface protected before you start. Have lots of wax to hand and make sure you're wearing nitrile gloves. I've used four mixing cups to support my canvas so that any excess paint can drip off. Mix up a large amount of Resonate 1 to 1 epoxy resin. I've mixed up about 130 milliliters to cover a 10 by 8 inch canvas. This will obviously vary depending on the area you wish to cover. Once the resin is mixed, separate it into different pots. Add some white opaque pigment to one of the pots and mix it well. Then mix mica powders and pigments and contrasting colours to the other pots. Mix about four drops of Resi Blast into each pot apart from the white. Next comes the fun bit. Randomly add bits of each colour to a large plastic cup or yoghurt pot. Use the craft stick to get out as much as you can. Once you've put all your colours into the pot, carefully flip it onto the canvas and watch it spread. You can gently tilt the canvas to get the resin to cover it. Use a craft heat gun to encourage the cells and spread the resin, but don't thin it out too much. You can touch up any spaces using your fingers. If you like, you can quickly add a dirty pour second layer to your work until you're happy with the results. 